Hi, my name is Mark, and some people call me Bugman because my job is to show people like you bugs. And uh, I got a lot of interesting bugs here to show you today. So I was out hiking the other day, and I found three of these. And if you'll notice, one thing about these, if they were on a tree, they would look almost exactly like leaves, dead leaves hanging on the trees. And I can't tell you how many dead leaves I've looked at thinking that it might be one of these, but it was just a dead leaf. I'm writing songs about, nope, just a leaf. But uh, these are Cecropia moth cocoons. And this is sort of the classic standard shape and would probably be a male. And then these kind of more bulbous ones would probably be females. And I found these three along a fence row uh, by the airport and I was so excited. But then when I went and got them, they were empty. And so you can sort of feel that there's not the heft of uh, uh, still a moth inside. But what's interesting about these is they make them for winter. And so winter means you have to deal with the cold and the elements. And if you're sitting out in a bush or a tree and you're just sitting there on the, uh, on this, on the twig, it's going to be cold. You're going to get snowed on. You're going to get uh, ice, rain, whatever. And so this thing inside has to be protected. And on the outside, this is all caterpillar spit, silk, caterpillar. They, their spit comes out of their mouth and so they make their cocoon and they wrap themselves up like that and uh, wrap it all around them. But then if I open this, so if I just slice this all the way along the top and then pull it back to reveal what's inside, it's exciting. It's another cocoon. They make a double and in between, it's all fuzzy. And the value of that is that this, this model traps air inside here, and air is an insulator. So when this caterpillar makes this cocoon, it makes, two, it makes two cocoons. It makes the inner one and then this outer protective one. And in between, it traps a bunch of air in there as a way to deal with winter. And then what comes out is a gorgeous Cecropia moth, which is the biggest moth in North America. And they're huge, sometimes a six inch wingspan. And they're red and white and brown and just the big, huge fuzzy antennas and just gorgeous. And one of our lessons in most of our bug programs is that respect comes from the Latin and spect, S-P-E-C-T, means to look or see and re means again and respect means look again and when you go slowly enough and you look again, that's when you see the cool stuff.